Hey, here we are going live. I see we've got one connected already. Fantastic. Welcome. We're going to give just a couple of minutes for some more. Oh, two. Awesome. For some more people to connect before we actually start the workout. Great. We're up to three. For this workout today, I'll down to one. For this workout today, all you're going to need is a chair, and that's it. And I've got a chair right back behind me there. You can follow right along with everything I'm doing. This workout is going to be very suitable for anybody who's got limited strength, limited mobility, and limited uh, balance. So it's going to be uh, especially good for older adults for anybody who uh, maybe is recovering from surgery or a stroke. And I'm gonna turn down that music just a little bit because I can tell it's a little bit on the loud side. One moment. So again, welcome. This is going to be a workout you can do right there at home. We're going to give it maybe 30 more seconds before we kick it off. So right here in a chair, you can see me. I've got a little box here next to me. You don't need that. That is just for my notes. So I can refer back to my notes as we go through the workout, and that way I don't forget anything. Uh, we're going to go in just a few seconds. If you've got any questions as we go, I'm going to be keeping my eyes on the screen. Uh, I will answer any questions that you uh, type up during the live chat during this workout. And we're going to get started right now with everybody who's connected. So we're going to start with a little bit of warm up right here in the chair. I want your back away from the back of the chair, seeing a little bit more mid to forward on the chair. Nice tall posture so you can take some good deep breaths and not slouching down. So good tall posture. We're just going to start by marching those feet up and down. Wherever you want to go with your hands, that's comfortable or feels natural is fine. If you want to go right on your lap, if you want to go down to the sides of the chair, also okay. We're just going to do a little bit of marching right here in the chair. I'll go for 10 more seconds. I see I already got a light, that's awesome. Okay, now we're gonna go from that march into shrug, roll the shoulders back and down and return forward. Shrug and roll the shoulders back and down and return. Getting the shoulders opened up, the chest opened up. I want you to really notice how those shoulder blades pull in and down as you bring those shoulders back and roll them down. So not a real long workout today. I expect we're probably going to go about 25 to 30 minutes, if that. Rolling up, back, down. One more time, up, back, down. Going from there into an ankle exercise. I'm going to move back so you can see my feet. I'm going to tap my foot on the floor, toe on the floor. Foot, toe, foot, toe. So what I'm trying to do here is tap my heel, toe, heel, toe on the same spot. So I'm not going forward and back too much. I'm picking a spot on the floor, heel touches that spot, toe touches that spot. Three, two, one. Good, really getting that ankle loosened up. Same thing with the other side. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Really pointing that toe down as much as you are able to. 
to touch down to the floor. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. We're gonna go one more time on the other side in two and one, and then getting that ankle, moving on the other side again. I hope you're all faring well right now with the stay at home directive. Hope you're able to feel cared for and connected to people right now. I know it's tough to connect face to face at this point, but I'm hoping that through phone, through social media, two and one, through video, that you're able to stay connected with those you care about. Feel those angles loosening up? I can sure feel mine loosening up. Remember to keep that nice, tall posture so you can take good breaths in. Remember to keep breathing. If you stop breathing, you will be the first to know. Two and one. Seated twist. We're going to twist from side to side. Just a little gentle pressure against that leg. Other side, little gentle pressure, rotating through the waist, getting that low back loosened up a little bit, getting those hips loosened up a little bit, a little pressure against the leg, a little pressure against the leg, a little pressure against the leg, there we go. One more here. Right now, I want you to pick a spot down between your feet. We're gonna slouch down and look at that spot. And then we're gonna sit right up tall, look way up high overhead and a point directly above that spot between your feet. We're gonna look down, up. So we're slouching that back down, we're really Arching that back up high, opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders as you look up and lift the chin. Slouch, arch, slouch, arch. Let's go one more time there. Slouch and arch. We're going to go one more time. Twist side to side. After this side to side twist, and then that slouch and arch, we're going to get into some of our main set exercises. This is a warm up right now to get everything loose, to get everything warm. One more on this other side. Great. Then we're going to slouch and look down. Arch and look up. Slouch and arch. Slouch and arch. Remember, if you have any questions as we go, feel free to type them in the live chat. And I'll do my best to answer them for you as we go. One more time, slouch and Arch, fantastic, all right. This first set of strength exercises, chair strengthening exercises, we're gonna do just seated right here. I want you again, away from the back of the chair so your back is not touching the chair's back. We're sitting nice tall posture with feet under the knees. We're gonna turn palms up, reach out with your palms, pull back, tuck those elbows back as far as you can. Reach out the palms, tuck the elbows back as far as you feel comfortable or confident going. Tuck the elbows back. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing sideways. Reach out, reach back. Tuck, reach, tuck. Now, as you tuck, I want you to feel those shoulder blades pull together. Back of that motion. Feel some muscles across your upper back. 
squeeze as you tuck those elbows back. Imagine nudging somebody back behind you with your elbows. I'm gonna turn back to face you. Two and one. Great. We're gonna go arms straight out to the sides, palms up. You're gonna reach in and touch your shoulders back out to the sides. Now, if you can't get all the way to the shoulders, that's fine. You do what you're able to do. If you can touch your shoulders, great. You've got outstanding mobility. If you're not quite there, keep going. With practice, that mobility will improve, and you'll be able to get those fingertips to your shoulders. Let's go two more there. Two and one. Great. For this next one, you're probably going to want to put your hands down on the sides of the chair. We're going to do some chair jacks. So we're doing a jump jack motion right there in the chair. If lifting both feet up off the floor at the same time proves a little challenging for you, do a step jack. Out in, out in. Either way is perfectly okay. What we're trying to do is get that knee out to the side, touch that foot down, working on balance, mobility, and coordination. Nice tall posture again. Out to the sides, back in, out to the sides, back in. Two and one. Great. We're going to go right back up to the top of that three circuit set of exercises. We're going to start with that. Reach out, palms up, tuck the elbows back. Palms up. From the side, I look like this. Reach, tuck. Reach, tuck. Reach, and tuck. Those of you who are joining me today, thank you for being here. Kudos to you for taking steps to improve your strength, your balance, your mobility. We go one more from here. Excellent. Arms out to the side, fingertips to the shoulders, back out to the sides. What we're trying to do here is keep the elbows at that same place in space. So you notice I'm not lifting up, I'm not dropping down. I'm keeping those elbows level with my shoulders as I bring the hands in and out, in and out. Look at those biceps, look at other muscles around the elbow joint. As you work some strength, some isometric strength through the shoulders. Let's go two more there, two and one. Hands down to the sides of the chair, jack out, in. Or, if both feet at the same time is a challenge for you, and you prefer going one foot at a time, you go right ahead. Three, two, one. Awesome. For our next set of exercises, we're going to be getting up out of the chair. I'm going to scooch back a little bit so my head doesn't get cut off by the video. Okay. We're going to go sit up to a stand. So all we're going to do is sit in the chair, stand up, back down. If standing up requires you to push down on your thighs at this point, that's okay. If you don't need to, even better. But it's perfectly okay to push down on those legs to get yourself up out of that chair right now. We're going to go two more of these. And after that second one, we're going to stay standing. So we're going to stand, stay right there. Okay? From here, I'm going to walk around back of the chair. 
from behind the chair, I'm going to do a side leg raise, holding the back of the chair for balance, lifting out to the side, back down. We're going to do eight on each side. Nice controlled motions. If you can't get that far up, that's okay. You go as far as you feel like you're able to. We're going to go two more. As you do this, I want you to notice how the side of that hip really kicks in right through there. Important muscles. Those are the muscles that when you stand on one leg, they kick in to keep your hip from dropping and collapsing. Let's do the other side for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Staying behind that chair, I'm going to turn my chair sideways so you can better see what I'm doing. We're going to lift back and return. Back and return. So I'm kicking that heel back behind me. I want you to notice that I'm not bending the knee on that very much. I'm letting my straight leg do the work. I'm also not leaning forward into it to artificially increase my range of motion. One more here. Fantastic. I'm keeping my posture tall and reaching back with my heel, with a straight leg while keeping my spine nice and in line. As you do that, you should feel the glutes engage, those big muscles that hold your jeans up. One more here. Fantastic. Okay. Let's go back to that side leg raise. Okay, I'm gonna face you. You can stay right where you're at as long as you're behind the chair. We're gonna reach out to the side, back down. Out to the side, back down. Going for eight. There's five. Six. Seven, feel those hips work. Eight, great. Shake those knees a little bit if you need to. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side for a count of eight. One more will be eight. There you go. We're going to do, I'm going to move the chair so you can again see what I'm doing from the side. We'll do that. Kick back, return. Kick back, return. Go for eight on each side here. Two more, two, and one. Really working all those muscles around the hips. Reaching back with the other leg. Again, going for eight. Three, and two, and one. Fantastic. I'm going to turn the chair so I can face you again. And I'm going to walk around to the front of the chair. From here, we're going to do one more set of those sit stand. So I'm going to sit down to the chair, stand up. Again, with this, if you feel like you need to push down on the thighs, to stand up, we're going to go for at least five of these. If you can do eight, fantastic. I'm going to be doing eight. If you need to stop at five, and this is number four, you can stop at five. This is five. If you're stopping there, you can stay in your seat. And 
is number seven. And number eight. And then back down to the chair. Still maintaining that nice tall posture. Back is not against the back of the chair. I'm up away from the back of the chair, sitting more to the middle or front of the chair. We're going to do one more set of seated exercises as part of kind of main strength sets. And then from that, we're going to go into kind of a cool down and stretching. So we got three more exercises to get through. We're going to start with palms out in front of you. We're going to turn down and close the fist and rotate as far as you can. Turn back up to palms out, rotating out. Rotate in, close your fist. Open, close and turn. Open, close and turn. Really working on those rotator muscles through the shoulder, through the forearm. Let's go two more, two, and one. Great. Hands together in front of you like you're praying, and I want you to push them together with some force, as much as you feel like you can muster. And when you do that, you're going to feel muscles all the way across the front and through the backs of the arms kick in. I'm pressing my arm, my hands together like I'm trying to keep a piece of paper between my hands. I'm going to go up high overhead, keeping that pressure between my palms and back down. This is an overhead press, generating that muscular action by keeping the palms squeezed together. Nice and controlled on those motions. Squeeze together with the palms. Bring it up overhead as far as you can confidently or comfortably go and under the chin. Let's go one more, keeping those palms squeezed together and back down. Nice, shake it out if you need to. One more exercise, and then we're gonna go back to the top of that three exercise circuit. We're gonna go fingertips by the ears, not locked back behind the head, just touching by the ears. If you can't get quite there, bring them as close as you can. We're gonna bring the elbows as close together in front as you can get them, back out to the side like duck wings. Flapping in front, flapping back behind. Flapping in front, flapping back behind. And as you pull back behind, I want you to think about really getting those elbows back as far as you can constantly go. We're going to go two more there. Two and one. Great. Shake it out. We're going to go back to that exercise that I call turning the doorknob. Reaching out in front with palms up. We're going to twist. Squeeze the fist as you twist. Open the palm as you turn up. Squeeze the fists as you twist. Open the palms as you turn up. Squeeze and open. So one more there. Squeeze and open. Great. Shake those out. Hands together. Press together like you're trying to, to uh, keep a piece of paper squeezed in between your hands. Keep that pressure between them and push your hands up overhead. Pull your hands back down. Push them up overhead. Pull them back down. Good. Two more here, two, keeping that pressure between the hands, and one, push up, and don't forget to pull down, that's the full rep. 
and back down. Great. Shake those shoulders out a little bit. One more time. Fingertips by the ears. Duck wings in and out. In and out. I'm not afraid to admit my shoulders are feeling this a little bit. How about yours? One more here. Nicely done. Shake that out. We're going to move into a little bit of a cool down stretching segment. And we're going to start with those shoulder shrugs and roll back like we did during the warm up segment. We're going to follow some of these warm-up exercises in reverse. Pulling up, back, down, up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. Two more. Good. Shake those shoulders out. Going back into that seated twist. Twist to one side, a little gentle pressure against that leg. Don't force it. Other side, a little gentle pressure against that leg. One more to each side. Great. Now, we're going to do a stretch and a yawn, like you're stretching out first thing in the morning. Stretch and yawn. Relax. Back down. Let's do one more time. Stretch and yawn. Stretch, like you're stretching the first thing in the morning, just getting out of bed, waking those muscles, waking that body up, and yawn. We're gonna finish with five deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Smell the flowers, blow out the candles. Feel that chest rise up and down as you take that deep breath and blow it out. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more. Fantastic, you guys did a great job and that was just a little over 25 minutes. I hope you all enjoyed this workout. I hope it helps you feel a little bit more mobile. I hope you feel like we worked your muscles and we worked some balance in that. Let's plan for another one next week. Also on Friday, I will get some information up on my Facebook page where you can just look at it for uh, the for, uh, same time and YouTube on my YouTube channel next week, Friday, 9 a.m. Central Time. Thank you so much. I hope you have a fantastic weekend.